Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Fable 4 video. It's been a little while since we've done one of these, so I'm excited to get back into it. And today we're going to be talking about everything we know so far about Fable 4 or Fable, the Fable reboot, whatever you want to call it, that is coming out, well, who knows when. We're going to discuss that and a whole lot more in this video. So the first thing we know about this Fable game is that it has been in early development since at least 2018. It was first reported by Wesley Yim Paul of Eurogamer at the time in January of 2018 that Playground Games had opened a second office with over 200 people working on it that they were developing a Fable game for Microsoft Game Studios through Playground Games and it took almost two and a half years from that report all the way until mid-2020 for Fable to even be announced. So we at least know it's been in development for approximately three years up to this point, so it's a long development cycle. However, that doesn't necessarily mean the game's coming out anytime soon within the next year to two years, just based on the fact that this is almost certainly a complete reboot of the Fable franchise, rebuilding assets, gameplay functions in engine, whether it's a new engine or a previously used engine, there's a lot of work to be done in developing a whole new game. That may mean that sequels or expansions may be easier and sooner forthcoming after this game's release. However, to release this first Fable game as a reboot of some sort, or at least as a new studio, it's going to take a lot more than three years to develop it, at least from the scale of which we want it to be when it does release. Another thing we do know about it is that it has been attributed, at least in early development, when it was first reported by Eurogamer, there was actually a LinkedIn advertisement by the head recruiter for Microsoft Studios. They were looking for a lead environment artist for a Microsoft AAA next-gen title style similar to Horizon Zero Dawn, so at least early in the development of this Fable game, it's been acknowledged that it's aiming to be like Horizon Zero Dawn, an open world expansive magical RPG. That's what you want to hear when you're talking about a title like Fable coming as an exclusive to Xbox and, and Microsoft Windows 10. Because at the time, at least in early 2018, it had only been just under a year since the release of Horizon Zero Dawn, and that had done so well for Sony. So it made sense for Microsoft to want to have their own version, and Fable's the perfect game to do just that. And of course, the next thing we know about this new Fable game is being developed by Playground Games, the developers of Forza Horizon series. So they know how to build open worlds, and they know how to build beautiful looking games. Obviously, they don't know really maybe how to make a magical fantasy RPG from a car game. However, you could say the same about Gorilla, who made Horizon Zero Dawn. They were developing a first-person shooter in Killzone before they made Horizon Zero Dawn. Perhaps they're the perfect developers to make this large-scale open-world RPG that could be this new Fable game. And like I said, we know it's an open-world, large-scale game. Back in 2018 at E3, head of Microsoft Game Studios, Phil Spencer, acknowledged that the Forza Horizon developer were working on another title that we now know as Fable, and that was a massive open world game. So we know that it will be a large scale open world game. What we've seen in previous Fable games is small segmented areas. Bowstone Markets, Bowstone Old Town, all the way to Oakvale, Oakfield, depending on which Fable game you're talking about. So they're, they're more in smaller hub areas that you travel to in small regions. I believe this next Fable game will be a mass open world game. There'll be one map. The next thing we know is that this game actually is probably a long way off. They've still been hiring important members of the development team. In January 20, Steve Thornton announced that he's the Associate Chief Designer for Playground Games working on Fable. So that's a major role that they've only announced and hired this year. So that's got to tell you there's still a lot of development to go. And McGill, in December 17th, announced that she's the lead writer on Fable. That's December 17th, 2020, which is a pretty massive role in terms of story to have a lead writer only hired in the last couple of months. So I don't think we can expect Fable to be coming out, certainly 2021, I don't even think 2022. The earliest I think we see Fable come out is 2023, and even then, 
it could be 2024 is probably when I'd expect it. Within 2023, 2024, that's the window you'd be looking at for Fable to release, just based on the fact that there are major hires going on. The next thing I want to go through is we know it's a large team working on Fable. Over 200 people are reportedly working on it as early as January 2018 when it was first reported and rumors speculated. And we know it's even more than that now. Over 200 people are working on Fable and that includes some pretty major industry professionals. Creative director is Ralph Fulton of the Forza Horizon series. So someone that knows how Playground Game works and it's probably a, a, a smart decision to have someone that's worked for that exact company through Microsoft Game Studios to be leading the charge here. It's just a matter of, as a creative director, making sure things are getting done and well in order, and you're, you're keeping a system that obviously works a playground game, so that's important. The chief designer, Will Kennedy, worked on GTA 5 and GTA Online. Lead quest designer, Hunter Wright of Borderlands 2 and 3. The narrative director, Martin Lancaster of the Batman Arkham series. UI lead, Joe McKernan, used to work for Playground, then went to Gorilla and worked on Horizon Zero Dawn, then Bungie for a time, and now back at Playground Games to work on Fable. Senior producer, Ian Mitchell of Star Wars Battlefront 2 and a production designer, Sean Eyestone of Metal Gear Solid 4 and 5. There's many, many others that you can check out. There's a long list of people that have been a part of the games industry for a long time working on some massive titles. I just thought those were some really notable ones. The narrative director that worked in the Arkham series, that's interesting. A UI designer, you know, the UI lead, in fact, Joe McKernan, who worked for Gorilla on Horizon Zero Dawn. I feel like that's a game that we're mentioning a lot and it makes sense. Uh, to do so because I'd like to think that this next Fable game will have some similarities to that game. I love Horizon Zero Dawn. I love the Horizon franchise. Obviously, I follow Horizon Forbidden West on this channel. I'm making videos on it. So just to, to see that Fable would look like that and not an MMO, that we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute, but not an MMO like apparently was when the game was announced, there were rumors going around that this new Fable would be an MMO. That has since been squashed by many xbox insiders it was just one person that reported that it was going to be an mmo and everyone else is like i don't know what you're talking about there will be online elements however and that's something we also know there will likely be an online multiplayer mode of some kind again there were those mmo rumors but you'd think it's more like the old fable games where you can go into someone else's game and join their world as a hero we know there's going to be heroes in this game we saw it from the announcement trailer we saw the guild seal so even if this Fable is a reboot, we know there's many elements of the old Fable franchise that are going to still be in place in lore. The Guild of Heroes. Heroes exist. Bower Stone we saw in the trailer. So there's a lot of things that we're seeing from the old games, and it's about blending those new and old. It's about blending those new and old, and that's another thing that I made a video on just last year. After Fable was announced, it was reported by one of the heads of microsoft game studios that fable will blend new and old elements together matt booty the xbox game studio boss said quote with any kind of franchise like that where you've had existing versions there's always that balance between what you're going to bring forward what still stands up and what you want to add that's new end quote so we've seen there's old elements that are going to be in it, but to then bring Fable into the current landscape that is open world RPGs, it makes sense to mimic the Witcher 3s, the Horizon Zero Dawns of the world, and create what is Fable in that space. Fable is a magical fantasy game franchise. It's an RPG. It would fit so well into that, creating a vast landscape with heroes, and to have an online or a multiplayer mode of some kind like the old style makes sense you're a hero someone else brings their hero into your world and you do quests together that would be a great way to do it but it doesn't necessarily mean it's an mmo or even like an mmo you can still have multiplayer in that sense another thing that we saw was concept art there was a leak in april of 2019 through an art station profile of one of the concept artists from playground games and they had this concept art drawn with this character with a arrow quiver on their back a sword in a sheath and they were standing in the middle of a town center and that town looks more or less identical to oakvale of the fable franchise and obviously this is over a year and a half after playground games are reportedly developing a fable game but it hadn't yet been announced they squashed those rumors at the time just saying no there was their own concept art in their own time for fun which isn't 
likely to be believed now that we know Playground Games are working on Fable and the fact of Concept Art is Drew Oakvale. So we know Bowerstones in the game. We saw at least their own rendition of Bowerstone in the trailer. We know Guild of Heroes are in it. I'd like to think we also know that Oakvale's going to be in the game. There's been many other rumors, but we're not going to talk about rumors in this video. We're, we're here to talk about what we know, and we know that there is concept art of Oakvale designed by a Playground Games concept artist within the time period that we know Playground Games were working on Fable. So I think it's pretty fair estimate to say that Oakvale is going to make an appearance of some kind within this new Fable game. So the question then becomes, how much is new and old of Fable? Is this a new Albion, or is this the Albion we know? Is this not a reboot? It's just set at a different time. That is Albion. And the previous law still completely exists. That's going to be interesting. Very interesting to see when it comes to this new Fable being released. The last thing I want to talk about is Fable still has its humor. It's super important that a company like Playground Games is developing a Fable game. Because Fable, what makes it stand apart from other fantasy RPGs is its humor, its Britishness. And we see in the trailer, there is that element of British humor from this pixie, this fairy flying around a forest. You see the magic of this world. You're getting introduced by this narrator. And then a toad just eats the fairy. You know, that's, that's so fable. And straight away, it put a smile on my face knowing, okay, we've got a British studio, the same way Lionhead was a British studio, developing this British fantasy RPG. That's so much charm of Fable, is the Britishness of it, is the humour of it. That's got to remain, and we see that at least on some level is going to stay with the upcoming Fable for release. So just to recap, things we know, this game has been in early development since early 2018 with at least a style they're trying to attribute to similar to Horizon Zero Dawn at least in the early times of development. We know Playground Games, a British studio, are developing this game, bringing British humour, the Britishness, to this Fable game. It's a large-scale open world game. They're still hiring lead developers as of the last couple of months, so the game's probably a long way off, but it's full of very high-level industry professionals working on the game, including creative director Ralph Fulton, who's worked on Forza Horizon series in their career. It's a day one release for Xbox Game Pass and Windows 10. There's likely an online or multiplayer mode in this game. Hasn't been announced yet, but there's been a lot of talk about it. Concept art showing Oakvale. We've seen Bowerstone. We know the Guild of Heroes is in it. We saw the Guild Seal that looks exactly the same as it always did in the old games. And we know they're going to blend these new and these old elements. Things that make Fable Fable, along with the current landscape of open world RPGs. And that's exciting to see. So there's a lot we do know about this Fable game without having to see anything. There are a lot of other rumors and speculations and potential leaks, but I don't want to sit here and speculate in this video. I want to sit here and talk about what we know and what can be really uh, intelligently presumed from the information we've gathered so far. So that's exciting. I'm so excited for this new Fable game. I'll continue to update you as Fable news comes out. Gameplay, trailers, news, rumors, speculation. I'm going to talk about it. I look forward to following Fable for the next year to two years, potentially three years. Who, who's to say? Who's to know? And hopefully maybe this year we get at least another trailer uh, so we can learn a bit more about it, which would be exciting. Uh, and uh, hope you all enjoy this video. Be sure to like this video if you did. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.